Yo, what is up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in on this Saturday night. Still living in Starfield hype mode. Uh, gonna be streaming, playing games. Uh, Kate's about to join me. And uh, probably gonna play some Halo Infinite. Um, also, I'm testing my internet again because we had a lot of issues on Xbox Ultimate uh, last night. Right now, it seems to be fine, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think maybe just my ISP was acting a fool uh, last night. But, uh, yeah, going to be having some fun uh, playing games, talking about whatever. Um, and, yeah, like I said, Kate is joining me, so that's her. She's hopping in right now. And uh, Halo, maybe we'll hop into COD. Maybe we'll play some Fortnite. I, I don't know. I don't know what all we're going to do. But yeah, we're we're kind of back into Halo right now because it's uh really good again. Um a lot of updates, a lot of new content. So it's a good time. Uh you there, babe? What it is, ho. Yo, hey baby. What's up? Um How much? Now, I feel like before we uh get into the stream, I think we need to address uh oh. the situa situation yesterday. Portellos? Yeah, because it was just me saying it before. I think we need another voice on this whole situation about our thoughts on Portillo's. Well, I I mean, I feel like I was harder on it on Twitter than you. Yeah, I know. But like I was You said on the it was show. mid. I said it was less than mid. Yeah. And I I gave it a 1.5 just for the service and um but what you mean the uh, service was atmosphere. good, so that's why it, service it was... was service was great. I do think them refilling your cup is a little bit weird. Yeah, you can, there's no drink station, so you have to bring them. Your there's cup. no drink station, so it's just people going up there, handing their open cup, and the chick up there is just constantly like touching people's greasy cups, then handing them back, <laughs> then touching someone else's greasy fucking cup and handing it back, like ugh, I, I don't know, I and their food. Their food is particularly like greasy and like leaves like shit all over your fucking hands and no, no thank you. Yeah. Um when we walked in, it smelled amazing. Yeah, I don't know where the smell was coming from. And I was like, I was we we weren't gonna get we were not gonna get like their beef sandwich. And when we walked in, I was like, that does not smell like a burger, it does not smell like a hot dog. That's got to be the beef sandwich, so we have to try it. Yeah, and we could see a guy making one and it looked really good. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. So we we got the hot dogs. We got the burgers. We got the beef sandwich. We we, we got we we want, we want to try fries. everything. Yeah, it was so bad. I'm the first one that took a bite <laughs> so of something. Bad. I took a bite of my hot dog. Mm -hmm. And I just made like this face because I was trying to figure out where where the flavor was because it was like I was biting into a hot dog. But it didn't taste like anything. So it was really off-putting to just have, like, that texture yeah. of the wiener in my mouth with no flavor. Yeah, you're used to when wieners in your mouth that have some flavor. To I'm used to, mouth. like, really flavorful wieners, you know? Right. For sure. Like, like here's the thing is, like, every wiener is, like, it's got its own flavor. Every, every one? <laughs> every wiener has its own flavor. And this one had... It was like all meat, no flavor. Okay. Yeah, I had the same. Had the it was same just experience. like water, water meat in yeah. your mouth. Water meat. Yeah. Yeah. The burger was a really weird texture too, and like the you... burger was a weird texture. The patties were like weird looking. Yeah. It... And the patties were like dwarfing the buns. Right, and, and so you... and my bun on the bottom was like wet. Yeah, and, and so so that way you you wanted to examine the burger because of how weird it was. So you actually kind of yeah. like tore it in half and just looked. No, at I it. well I cut I cut it in half, and then when I was eating it, I was like, the beef was sticking so far off of the buns. I was like, okay, I need to like cut some of this beef off the edge here, and it just looked like really weird when I did that. Yeah. I I made the comparison. If you like remember elementary school cafeteria burgers right that were made out of soy meat that's the texture that their burgers were 
and they had no flavor. The only flavor it had was a little bit of the char flavor from the char broil, but the meat itself had no flavor. And it had a weird no. texture. Um, and I'm easy to please with burgers. I like shitty burgers. Like, I like all the fast food place burgers. I like every burger I usually try. This one was weird and gross. Fuck, I would rather have, like, the little frozen microwave White Castle burgers. <laughs> yeah, those would be better for sure. Or even, those are kind of good, not e- gonna lie. <laughs> even shitty McDonald's would have been better. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm talking it, about, you know, that time when you get great McDonald's, it's like, oh, my God, this is the way McDonald's probably was in the about 50s. about, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm talking about, like, when you get this shitty McDonald's, everything's cold and, like, just bad. It would have been better. Um, And then the worst thing was that Italian beef sandwich. I don't know what the fuck I, that was. I, uh, it when we it were on the also way... had no flavor, but also w- a weird flavor at the same time. Yeah, like, and when I was on the way home and I wasn't trying to be overly dramatic, I compared it to what I would expect it to taste like and feel like if I bit into wet brown paper towels. You know, and... like the paper towels that are in, like, public restrooms, you yeah. know, that you pull out of the thing? Yeah, I got yeah. commercial paper towels, right? And mm-hmm. Um, you were like, that's, oh my God, that's the most like, amazing comparison. Like, think about, you know how, like, when you smell something, you can kind of taste it, too? Yeah. You know how those smell? Like, that's what it tasted like. Yeah. It was, it was, it was bad. It was really bad. I, and I'm, I'm, I have to question if this is the fact that we're in Texas and they only have, like, this one location here in DFW so far. That, like, maybe their sourcing of, like, product is different here. And we just got, like, bootleg Portillo. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> yeah. Um, it didn't It didn't make our whole whole week, Jasper. It uh, it didn't even make our whole day. For sure. Uh, we thought it would make our whole week, but. Yeah. <laughs> it, it didn't. It definitely didn't. Um, the wieners was, did not deliver. I was so excited. I. You were. You've been excited for a while. You know, when you look at a menu, it's like, wow, this place was made for me, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I've been feeling all along. I wasn't expecting gourmet shit. I was expecting good fast food, you know? I was expecting, like, a step up from good fast food, though. Yeah. A little bit of a step. A little bit of a step up. Yeah, like like a hype that's worth hyping, you know? Like, it is... If anyone doesn't know, we're talking about Portillo's. Yeah, it, it was so disappointing. That, like, I did not bring it up, Jasper. Mav wanted me to speak on it yeah, also. I, I wanted her to, to back me up on this, right? For anybody that thinks I'm just going crazy, right? Because I think people trust Kate's opinion more than mine on food. <laughs> um, Which they ha- should. They should tra- uh, trust your opinion more than me on food because I like garbage. Mm, I mean, I like, but I, but I don't like like I hate seafood. Right, but that's a common thing not to like seafood. Yeah. Uh, I don't think of what else I don't like. Mark says Fat Burger was your favorite burger place when it was in the US. I like Fat Burger. I uh, I had Fat Burger recently. It was good. Uh, Free Bear says Whataburger rules. Yeah, Whataburger's fantastic. I still um, haven't had a uh, Fat Burger. I had a burger today to, to, you know, make up for the travesty that was yesterday. And I went to this place called Country Burger, and it was fucking amazing. Oh, my God. It was so good. The fries were just whatever. I mean, just like see? fries. But it was okay, so says Portillo's is pretty gross. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, why is people always talk about how amazing Portillo's is on the Internet? I don't understand it. I understand, like. I understand, like, some people that would absolutely love In-N-Out. I'm not, like, the biggest In-N-Out fan. I think they do have good quality burgers or whatever. I don't go Their crazy for it. Their fries are total fucking it, ass. In-N-Out's fries are garbage. They, I, the, for the place that's existed as long as them, that has as good of a, a decent burger that they do, which you can tell has good ingredients and stuff in it, it's still nothing compared to Whataburger. But for the In-N-Out to exist that long... For the amount of people that hate their garbage fries, for them not to have figured out that they need to do something else about their fries, it's a travesty to fast food. It's a travesty to what In-N-Out could be because the fries ruin 
the whole thing was in and out. Here's what I don't understand about their fries is that you literally can watch them in the drive through line, you know, cutting these fresh potatoes yeah. and like dropping them. What's where, where are we? What's going wrong in the process here? Like what they, at what point does this pure potato become ass? They 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 get the wrong potato. I think they get like cardboard potatoes. I, I don't know. Their potatoes are... Well, they just have, like, Idaho russet potatoes. That's what they look like. Yeah. It's, it, it's crazy. Anyway, there's just so many better hot dog places in Texas. Like, all over the place. Like, I, I don't know. Only... There's way better burgers everywhere. Everywhere has a better burger. Um, and... This place it, looks fire in Frisco. Beef... Chicago Avenue hot dogs. We were We were in Frisco yesterday. That's why we went to Portillo's. So we should have gone there. I should have. Yeah, we should have went there. We'll go there next time, Calorie. It, it is, it's a learning, you know, experience for us. <laughs> um, and the the worst thing, because we tried so many different things, it was so expensive. Spent. Oh, like, my God. Y'all, y'all even want to know what our total was at Portillo's. We spent $80 at Portillo's. Pl- like, after the cake, because we got cake to go. Um, yeah. It was my daughter. It was probably over eighty. Yeah, my daughter, me, and Kate, and we each got a burger. And because it was supposed to be an experience for us, finally getting to go there, wanted to try multiple things, right? Yeah. So we each got the burger combo. I got a chili dog. Kate also got a hot dog, and then we got one beef sandwich to share among us, like for the three of us. We took one bite of the beef uh, sandwich each, and like my daughter spit it out into a bag. Um, which I don't blame her. I um, I only took one bite of the hot dog, and I probably had like three bites of the burger, and I had about like probably four fries because they were so fucking salty I couldn't eat yeah. them. They were, they were like making my eyes squint. They were so salty. Yeah, it was wa- waste of money, wasted time, waste of gas, waste of um. Waste well, of we were already building. over there. It's a waste of a building there. They should have built the, the something else. The atmosphere is great. The building is, yeah. I really liked it in there. Could you um, imagine if something else was in there serving food with that nice building they have? That'd be great. You know, so a place that actually puts flavor. Yeah. yeah. Um. But, uh, but I told you, like, we can't really regret it that much because that day would have happened at some point. You're right. It Unless you would have stopped there. A few weeks ago when you were in the area, you could have saved us some fucking money if you would have stopped and gotten it for yourself and realized it was ass. You're right. I could have. You could have taken one for the team. I should I should have. But I should have. You should have. Should have done that. Um, it is what it is. Um, Antonio Newman says, I've learned that trying places in states that they are not from usually ends up tasting, ends up not tasting as good. Yeah, that's the only thing, like, maybe, you know, I, we, if, if we go to Chicago, we would have to try it at, at some point again, right? I forget. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, is it Froggy, the, is Froggy the one that lives in Vermont? Uh, I don't remember. Do you live in Vermont, Froggy? Uh, Vermont has some really good food. I'm just curious if they've ever been to Owls. I know you weren't crazy about Owls. Uh, well, I just I got the popcorn shrimp. It was a stupid decision. I should have gotten like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. I don't know. I like seafood, and I'm not used to places having popcorn shrimp like that. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get the popcorn shrimp. You know, it 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 was all right, but. Uh yeah, Owls is overall the fries were really good. Yeah, Owls is like amazing. Okay, it's not. It's, it's where it's like listening to my wife and I talk. You should take him one for the team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there, there's so many other places we got to try because places keep opening and opening everywhere, man. It's crazy. We're getting a Bojangles soon near us. Yeah, I'm excited about trying Bojangles. Yeah. Jasper may have oversold it when we're talking to him last night, uh, saying that he may it's have. like the best out of all the fried chicken places. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Popeyes for me has has that down right now tom says Portillo's is the tom. best food ever are you from chicago tom are you like in the illinois area yeah if he if he is from chicago then i'm thinking it's like a hometown thing 
and he just is blinded by that. It, yeah, it, it could be the, uh, you know, the rooting for the home team type situation. Exactly. Oh, either that or he has naturally sourced Pertillo's, <laughs> which is better, <laughs> better than our. Yeah, sir. Uh, Popeye's is my favorite, like, fried chicken place. Yeah, I, li- I like I like Chick Fil A too. Um, I like almost every place. Like, I really. don't I don't love Chick Fil A. I think Chick Fil A is so overrated. Not the best fried chicken, Jasper. What is it that you like about Bojangles so much? I said the family meals. Oh, for family meals, it's <laughs> out of all the places that got family meals, the best family meal is at Bojangles. <laughs> right on. Uh, KFC's gone downhill majorly the last 50 years. 50 years. Um, uh, there's so many other good places though. It's, uh, the churches is not bad. If you just want some cheap fried chicken, uh, we got oh. w- Williams chicken here. We got golden chick. We got chicken express all around Popeye's is the best though. Like their sides, yeah. their chicken. We got Popeye's like about a month ago on the way home. Um, from H E B because we wanted to check out H E B, and their uh, fucking Cajun fries and their red beans and rice. Oh my god, so good! Yeah, that Popeyes we got then was like the best fast food I've ever gotten in my life. It was insane. Oh. Yeah, I was looking at that yesterday, Froggy. They didn't have great reviews. Do y'all remember when KFC? I don't know if they still do it, but they had like the baked chicken. Uh this was probably like ten years ago. Or so. No, this was like before Kaylee was born. Oh, so maybe like 13 years ago. But it was probably like 2010. Yeah, it it was a big deal. They were introducing like baked chicken and stuff. And it was like, okay, you know, going to try it, right? I got it. And they were having selling so much of it or something. There was like a chicken shortage. So they started like, like slaughtering like younger or ungrown chickens or some shit is what the rumors were. But like I got this baked chicken. And remember, it was like the drumstick. I'm talking about a drumstick. You know, guys know what a drum, a chicken drum is, right? It was, it was like my the thickness of my fucking thumb. The whole thing. And that's how all of it was. All of the chicken. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, and it was yeah, like twenty five dollars was... or some shit for like this meal. I was like, I I had to take it back inside. I was like, guys, like, what the hell? And I was like holding up the chicken. I was like, this is a fucking drumstick. <laughs> What are you talking You're about? You're like, this is the size of my dick. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I mean, it's small. <laughs> Pay for that thickness. Um, I, f- I had that was a Karen moment I had, but like, you know, get disappointed sometimes. Yeah, did you know there's like a massive like sriracha shortage? There's a sriracha shortage? Yeah. Why? It's like I saw like a bottle at Walmart going for like twenty five dollars. So the people have uh, gravitated from scalping and uh, reselling PS fives to Sriracha. Yep. Interesting. Never had it though. Weird. I mean, I, I like spicy stuff. Sriracha is okay. I don't go crazy for Sriracha. I just didn't know if there's enough people out there that. Loved it too much to make it go. Sh- oh, like- people fucking love sriracha. Are you serious? There's people that fucking put that shit on everything. Yeah, so sell your uh, sell your sriracha bottles in your cabinet for extra cash, Froggy. It's great on <laughs> eggs. Yeah, is sriracha like um, the same thing as uh, what's the sauce? Uh, Tabasco. Yeah, Tabasco. Is that is that? No, from uh, sriracha? no I think it's I think it's different. It's like, uh, I think Tabasco is like a, a cayenne pepper sauce. And I think uh, Sriracha is like a chili sauce. I could be wrong, though. I don't. Right. So, so Calorie has this, the lowdown on this. He says, it's not really a shortage. It's like gone. The number one pepper grower sued the maker of Sriracha and won $20 million. So now they can't source good peppers, plus they have to pay that. What? Like, how could you, like... Sue a recipe. That's that's weird. It's like Texas Pete's, but more Asian style. I mean, I've had sriracha. I just can't like. 
I, I had sriracha when it's in the, like a dipping cup, you know, from like fast food place. Well, that's like you've had like Chick Fil A sriracha. That's not like straight sriracha. I don't believe. Right. It's not pure. It's not like Walter White pure. He breached contract with his pepper supplier. Interesting. I haven't seen that, Kilonitis. There was a crash at Daytona. Oh, really? Tell us. Hopefully, Wor everyone's Worcestershire okay. Worcestershire. Wor Worcestershire. That's Worcestershire. how I say it. I just say it nice and slow. I, I always say Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Wor Worcestershire? Worcestershire sauce. Uh, case always says sriracha is very bland. I can't believe people think that's hot. But then again, the hot chip challenge didn't phase me, so maybe I had dead taste buds. Bang. Well, if you have dead taste buds, I recommend you go to Pertillo's because you wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, what's up, Splin? How's it going? What what is he what is he talking about? I have no idea. It says Mav, you mother, bad word, bad word, bad word. Man, y'all are up to y'all old trick again. WTF. What's that mean? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. That that's that's my response to what that is. I don't know what that means, but hey, let's go. Uh Saturday night food talk with Mav and Caitlin. Yeah. It's uh one of my favorite subjects is food. I could probably Same. <laughs> uh start a channel that we're Kate and I just talk food, and we would be completely satisfied. Uh, Let's fucking go, babe. Food speculation. Mm. No? I don't know. Ba I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, using that. Splendid differences using Niners players to win Super Bowls, man. Hey. Your 49ers are the dumb asses that took a fourth round pick for somebody that they use like what two first round picks on two years ago. The guy's only like 22, 23 years old and they're already giving up on him just because they got uh, Sam Darnold as a backup. <laughs> you don't blame the Cowboys for that one, bro. And now the Cowboys got a potential future if Dak doesn't pan out this year. Uh, man, that was laughable. The fact that they got the they got Trey Lance for a fourth rounder from the 49ers. What are they what are the 49ers doing, right? I mean, the 49ers beat the Cowboys back-to-back -back years in the NFC Champion or in the playoffs, not the NFC Championship, but whatever. Yeah, they beat the Cowboys back-to-back -back years and uh, and then they uh give them their young up-and-coming uh quarterback that they wasted a couple of first rounders on. Interesting stuff. Yeah, love it. Love to see it. Um, anyway, they, they did hit but, the home run with Brock Purdy last year, though, as the um, Mr. Relevant. So we should call each anyway. other Bay just to annoy everyone. <laughs> hey, Bay. Hey, Bay. What's up, Bay? All right, Bay. What are we doing, Bay? Uh, Halo Infinite Bay. Bay, Bay. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Um, should I play it on PC or should I play it on Xbox? Hmm. <laughs> I'll go PC. What's up, Yobi? How's it going, man? Uh, let's see here. That's a great okay, name for a show. Up. Fuck, that's delicious. That is. But what if it's not fucking delicious? What if we're talking about Portillo's? <laughs> Fuck, that's nasty. Yeah, or that's flavorless. <laughs> Fuck, that's trash. Go ahead and play PCMR. <laughs> Although you want to. right on. Yeah, I'm gonna uh I'm starting Halo. Clean it up and doing laundry, bro. Right on. You don't need that. For like skin. About to play some No Man's Sky. Check out the DLC. Right on, dude. Um, all right, let's rock this.
Here we go. Doing pretty good. We had better food than we did yesterday, so it's a good day. Eh. <laughs> uh. Eh? Yeah. Well, you you didn't, Speak I guess. for yourself. Yeah, you didn't get Country Burger like I did. No. Why does it keep doing this on PC? It, like, always makes me... Here we go. You're currently playing Skyrim again? I had started a new playthrough of Fallout 4 the other day. I just... Bethesda's on my mind constantly. I can't really think about anything else. Like, so... But you'll know, we'll play some Halo tonight. Like I said, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll uh, dive into some other stuff, too. Do you have Fortnite installed? Mm, yes, I do. Um, do. Can you join the game, or do I need to send you an invite? I'm sure I can join. Should we see if Jasper wants to join us? I fucking guess. I don't know what he's doing. Just kidding. Playing Ace Combat 6? The fuck? Okay. Just lotion. Not for face, necessarily. Kate, Kate likes to judge. Kate actually... Her dad was a Dolphins fan, so she... He is a Dolphins fan. Is a Dolphins... Well, I... What the fuck do you mean he was a Dolphins fan? <laughs> is a Dolphins fan, so you kind of grew up wanting them to win because your dad likes them. Yeah, Map was a Cowboys fan. I am a cow... <laughs> I'll always be a Cowboys fan. What's up, Jasper? We're streaming. I didn't know if you wanted to play some Halo with us. Uh, yeah, Star Wars match. I'm at a mission and I'll join you. All right. What are you playing Ace Combat for? Uh, I don't know. I was watching Steel play Armor Core, and it made me want to play Ace Combat. So. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Fair enough. Uh, do you want to just do um, Team Slayer, babe, or what? Yeah. Survey yeah. bought a hundred dollars in Xbox gift cards today to pre-order Starfields, and download it. Nice. Everybody, getting ready for the Starfield launch. Yeah, Halo Infinite is so good now. By the way, thanks everybody for watching the stream. Appreciate you. Random Saturday night nonsense. How is Ace Combat 6? I haven't touched it. Uh, This is the 360 one. Uh, I beat uh, the Xbox the one? one version. Ace Combat 7. I beat that oh, one okay. a couple years ago, so I just went back. I never finished this one. How's 7? Uh, I really like 7, but I it, mean... Is it 60 like, frames? Uh, I believe so. I think they all of them are. Right on. What's up, Garcia? Polly Baba's been playing a lot of Halo lately. Right on. One thing we were doing today is making a Starfield song playlist. And uh, just of, of like Starfield, like songs themselves, or like no, just random songs, music that has to do with space. Like, basically, we were in the car and he started playing Elton John's Rocket Man because that was in and the I was like, trailer. Oh my god, yeah. then he's like, I want to make a Starfield playlist, so he's driving down the fucking road and picks his fucking phone <laughs> up. Open spot. I'm like, how about you fucking drive? Mav? Yeah, well, then I couldn't. Uh, we didn't even get a good red light for me to even add the fucking song. So I had to have you take it over. Oh, yeah, then he's like, can I get a fucking red light? I'm like, who asks for a fucking red light? <laughs> Weirdo. I need to mess with my settings here. Something's off right now. Ah, shit. Uh. S7 sniper available. 
Interesting. Space, I already added Space Oddity. That's on there. We got some Pink Floyd on there. Uh, we got a bunch of songs that like, like are, are good space songs on there. Kate was amazing at like, thinking of songs that have like stuff to do with space in it. Yeah. Like, what else? Fire. Uh, Black Hole Sun. Put that on there. Um, and it's not necessarily has to be exactly about space, but you know what I mean? If it references like space stuff, then like, then we put it on there. Or even if it has like a space mood to it, you know? Smooth sounds of space. Um. Hmm? What else would we get on there? Uh, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot. We got like 50 songs on there now already. I added some more, babe. Cool. I no, <laughs> Afternoon Delight didn't put that one on there. That's good. Um, I put like Across the Universe on there. Um, afternoon Delight? Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Is that about space? Uh, I don't remember the lyrics to it, but I remember Steve Carell sang it in... Uh, or the, the Anchorman... They all sing it in Anchorman. So, so rad. But it's a real oh. song. It's a good, it's a good song. <laughs> I I for, oh, I forgot Anchorman is a space movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I did add some more like compositions. I added like the theme from like Interstellar. Shit like that. Um. I thought you were talking about what's that fucking song that they acquired? Ah, uh, the Psycho sings. What did he sing? What a Aquarius. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, actually. We could do it, put Aquarius on there. Aquarius. Aquarius. Intergalactic is dope. Isn't is that Beastie Boys? Um. Or am I crazy? Aquarius? No, intergalactic. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Energy sword in. Dynamo kill confirmed. Believe. Energy sword available. It's Beastie Boys, he says, yeah. Yeah, see? Okay. Now you're impressed. Oh, what about, like, this is what it's like when worlds collide? Huh? Uh, Power Man 5000, right? Fuck. Oh, we got Virtual Insanity by Vir Jamiroquai on there, Game Shark. That's a good call. We already added that mm -hmm. one. Bjork, oh so quiet. Okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> You're gonna have to start writing these down from the chat, babe. I'm <laughs> playing Halo. Um, G get a pin out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull one out of my ass here, real quick, okay? Keep a pin in your ass. <laughs> Surprised I haven't found it. <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Fuck. I'm gonna get you, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, Major Tom's on there for sure. We added that early. <laughs> Die, bitch! Yes. I always keep a pen. 
in my ass. That's why I'm always so tight. I mean, Ooh. uptight. Leaving on a jet plane. That's a good one. Leaving Isn't that John Denver? On a jet plane. Don't that John know if I'll be back again. Uh, I don't remember. Um, yes. I'll be impressed if that's who it is. Ah, shit. David Bowie's, yeah, that's, that's, um, Space Oddity survey. We got that one. The only other song I can think of, I don't know if it's just, just released to space to me, is because it's on Enterprise, but the opening theme song to Star Trek Enterprise is Faith of the Heart by Rod Stewart or whatever. Faith of the Heart. Right on. Every Star Trek fan hates it, but... <laughs> Inbound. I have to go back and look at the chat for the uh, recommendations. Suggestions. Yeah. Available. I'm gonna open up a notepad. Okay, so after this game, we're about to lose. <laughs> after this game, I'm gonna open a notepad. Mm, double kill. Oh fuck. Um, what else did we add on there? We added some like pop songs and stuff. Yep. In sync, space cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> added it. Added like three Pink Floyd songs. Whoa, girl. Careful there. Space trucking? What's space trucking? Space trucking. <laughs> Turducking? Yep, turducking. I'm just a trucking here in space. Maybe you have that space trucking game coming out where you're a truck driver in space. Fuck! Oops. I, I think I just accidentally killed you. Really? Yeah, I threw a grenade down there. I didn't know you were there. I just saw two of them. I added those songs you recommended also, Tom. Yeah. Jasper, do you have Fortnite installed? Uh, Stellar by Incubus, we added that. That, that was my suggestion, yeah. thank you. Kate, added, Kate remembered that one. No, no one's been no. staring at me at the theater. I haven't been to a movie in a little while, actually, Duke. What which... do you mean? We went to go see a... Uh... Did you just run your nail across the bed? Me? What are you talking about? No, she's like into my <laughs> nail polish and... Oh. Like, she's looking for a paper towel and I thought she like banged her oh, okay. hand on the bed and I'm like... Making sure there's not a big swipe of red nail Fortnite is installing. Good. Can you make sure that you can get it on the bed? I know, but can you just make sure? Ah, fuck you, sword man. S System of the Universe by Sabbath? Black Sabbath? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, what about that, uh... That, uh... Someone said, uh... Kid Putty or Cutie or whatever his name is. <laughs> Man <laughs> on the Moon. <laughs> what about, uh... That, you know, that Man on the Moon song. The old one. Oh, the oh, Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Fly me to no, the... It... Well, no, that's a good one, too, though, Jasper. I, um... So, 
Would you believe? <laughs> they put a man on the moon. Yeah, that one. That's a good one. Um, all right, so we got I'm going back. Inter what was it? Um, intergalactic. So Mav was uh wondering if uh he should put No Air by Jordan Sparks <laughs> and Chris Brown. Well, cuz there's no air, you can't breathe in space, you know? Yeah. There's no air, so you can't have fires. Um, you should put a uh, rock lobster in there cuz there's rocks in space. Right. Boston, the lawn. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm taking funny. notes here. I got Afternoon Delight. I got Boston, the launch. I got uh, Bjork's Oh So Quiet. Um, let's see. Uh, what else here? It, BC Boys Intergalactic. Um... See what else we got. The Imperial March from Star Wars. Okay, I thought about doing some Star Wars stuff on there. Deep Purple. The Darkness, I believe in a thing called, oh yeah, that song. I wish I could play the music on stream, but it is what it is. I would put Imagine Dragons on there, Splin, but I absolutely fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Space Cowboy by Steve Miller Band. Blue Moon. <laughs> it's not, that's actually not a bad... Suggestion. REM? Like, what REM song? A Postal Service, Such Great Heights. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Uh-huh. Can I bring up the list? I, I can bring up the list without... Which, what, which, which one was I singing? Oh, the Man on the Moon song? Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize that was R.E.M. Um, all right. Yeah. Our Starfield playlist has Rocket Man. It has Space Oddity. Um, it has Do You Realize by the Flaming Lips, which is really good. Um, that was in Guardians 3. Um, I got the other ones you sent me, Tom. Plus, I got... Um, Starfield stuff that has been released already. Uh, I got Across the Universe. I got uh, Comfortably Numb, Learning to Fly. I got Space Cowboy, also by Jamiroquai. Fireflies, uh, Three three Libras by Perfect Circle. Um, Virtual Insanity by Jamiroquai. Airplanes. Um, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Drops of Jupiter by Train. That was another one you remembered. Breathe by Pink Floyd. Um, Space Cowboy by NSYNC. Uh, Stellar Incubus. Starships by Nicki Minaj. Um, the Interstellar theme song. We got two Britney songs. Swimming in the Stars and Man on the Moon. Eclipse by Pink Floyd. We got Starboy by The Weeknd. Levitating by Dua Lipa. Around the World by Daft Punk. Um, Spaceship Coop by uh, Justin Timberlake. Satellite by Harry Styles. Saturn by Stevie Wonder, which is fucking awesome. Um, Days Go By by Dirty Vegas. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins, Tonight Tonight. 
Uh, I got some theme songs from the Cosmos show that came out. Uh, here's one I thought about, babe. Huh. What, what's one of our favorite uh, m movies that's a musical? Oh, Greatest Showman. Rewrite the Stars. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Did you um, do Shimmer by Fuel? Not yet. I haven't added that yet. Um, there's a song called Stars by Grace Potter and the Nocturnals that was really good. Uh, Mission Log uh, from the Lightyear soundtrack. <laughs> um, there's the Mountain from... Uh, Kills Encounters of the Third Kind soundtrack. Space Song by Beach House. And 2001 Space Odyssey theme. That's what we got so far. I'll add some more here. I'm going to go ahead and add Shimmer now. And I'll add these other ones later. I'm taking notes. We got 42 tracks in there now. 2,000 Light Years from Home by the Rolling Stones. That sounds fucking perfect. That's the kind of stuff I'm, I'm pretty, looking for. Can't you, like, uh, can you share, like, when it's done, can you share playlists? Uh, I think you can. I can put it in the Discord And can you also. make, like, your own, like, uh, like, graphic for it? Or no? Um. Maybe. I'm not sure. Warren G. Regulate. That comes from... Uh, we're, we're in the lobby, Jasper, if you're done. Oh, the, I thought we were switching to Fortnite. Okay, oh, okay. Cool. Or is it downloaded? Well, it's like 55% or something, but... Emit says you can change the cover. Oh, if I play nice. Halo, it's going to take a bit. But... That's true, so don't play Halo. Okay, I'll just play another round of Halo. Yeah, just play another round, babe, and then we're going to switch. Cool. Okay, got it. The Secret Life by Dead Milkman talk about jumping on a spaceship. Okay. How about uh, This Is What Dreams Are Made Of by Lizzie McGuire? <laughs> I'll pass on that one. Thanks, though. This is Bad Moon Rising by CCR. Did you guys see that uh year six news? Um, yeah, that is according to a special Nick. Special Nick. <laughs> Walking on the moon by the police. That could be good. Special. Blue skies. Blue skies. Blue skies are calling it. That, that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that. It's an old, like, really good song. Who's feeling good? No, feel is a feel good song. <laughs> I know. Space Monkey by Patty Smith. What's up, Razor? Close. Fuck. Falling off the edge of the world by Sabbath. Okay. Oops. Should I put the Halo theme on there? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's very Why spacey. Not? You're in. Oh,
Brandy, looking glass. Brandy or Randy? He said Brandy. Okay. <laughs> ah, fuck. I don't know if he said Randy. By, by Randy. You know Randy. Randy. <laughs> what about The Secret of Life by James Taylor? How does that one go? It's like a slow, like, storytelling song, but it's like... Well, that's all James Taylor's songs, so... Yeah, but it's just like... One of those inspirational shit songs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> inspirational shit. <laughs> What's it called? Speaker to Life. Speaker to Life? Moby, Porcelain, and Eastside. Interesting. And yeah, there's a lot of suggestions here. Yeah, you're not you're gonna have to go back because you're yeah. not gonna be able to keep up with it. Ooh. Let's go, double kill double grenade. Kill. I helped you there. Thanks, babe. If that was you up on the Yeah. Rocket area. Oh fuck. Rocket man. Everything's by Steve Vai. February stars by the Foo Fighters. Okay. Learn to fly by Foo Fighters. Ooh. Let's go. That's a great suggestion. That, Just when you think like mine. there's no more. Foo Fighters made me remember. Yeah. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I thought of learn to fly. Yeah, yeah. But it was only wow. because of February stars suggestion. So I'll give credit to uh, to Dennis for that. The only reason I know a lot of these songs are like have to do with space because I watch a bunch of space shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one time. <laughs> Hero is great too. I don't really have any space theme or space feel though, unless it's just like you're a hero if you go to space. <laughs> you can, I can be your hero, hero. baby. That's not if the I same hero song. I can take away your pain. If I go to space. <laughs> you can take my Fuck breath Fuck you, away. man. <laughs> wow. That... If we go to space. <laughs> you mean it, was, it wasn't Enrique? <laughs> no, it's not Enrique. <laughs> when a hero comes along. Can be Not Mariah Carey? Your hero. Can take away your There's so many hero songs. Wallflowers, uh, Bob Dylan, I think. Oh, Wallflowers or Bob Dylan? Because I think it's Jacob the same. Dylan, Jacob Dylan is I know, in I think the Wallflowers, who is Bob Dylan's son. I know, but I think he redid his dad's song. <laughs> oh, if, if, okay. Yeah. That, that was in the sense. the Wallflowers version was in the Godzilla soundtrack, which was a fucking incredible soundtrack, by the way. We can be heroes just for one day. One headlight. That's a good one. One headlight. Maybe you can only see one headlight because it's so far in space, right? <laughs> Are we stretching yeah. too much? <laughs> Maybe. Stairway to heaven. <laughs> That's. Not I mean, it's bad, an amazing right? song. Yeah. Yeah, heaven could be space-like, right? I mean... <laughs> Chloe, stop. Fuel by mid... 
Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that much out of fire. Oh, Halo Infinite's always been good. It just lacked enough content to keep me interested. Um, until recently. And they also improved the uh, mechanics a little bit. I mean, I guess you could do anything about Bruno Mars because he has bars in his name. That's, you know, that's a fair point. Does Bruno have a space <laughs> song? <laughs> I don't know. It's remaining. Oh. Fuck you, man. Stargazer Rainbow Dio. Uh, they improved a little bit of the controls and the mechanics. Uh, Jasper may have some more in-depth info on that. Um, Game Shark with the five dollars. Appreciate you. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. Yes, thank you, sir. I, I, I'm making use of my stream deck right now. Uh, appreciate you. It says then again, Jasper was saying the other day that it has to be nothing but old songs because it takes for radio waves to travel. Hashtag Jasper Pones. Yeah, that's a good point, Jasper. So we're we just gonna be listening like, yeah, so like, like if you if you were to go hundred light years, if you go to hundred light years out, like right now, just teleport yourself a hundred light years out, and you had a radio, and you could pick it up and amplify it, so it'd like be a good signal. You would just hear a hundred year old radio station. Right, but what if? Hear me out. They take because this is like hundreds of years in this in space, and we can already store thousands and thousands of songs on hard drives what if they just have a collection of songs that they pick with them? yeah i mean that would work better <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right just a thought you know but if they did if they lost all the the data from some kind of end world event right. that's why we're all on mars now yeah. they don't have the songs what if every what if every a uh, talking to the moon that's a good one to meet yes there is a bruno yes song. yes I love that song. Thanks. we we actually saw bruno in concert but we don't talk about Bruno. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> Thing is with that though, you have to filter out the radio signals to pick up radio stations versus TV stations and other type of radio signals that we send. But so yeah, it has kind of scientific thing have to have like amplify. old songs and shit on it, like floating in uh, space. There may be a song on it, but I know a lot of it uh, just reading from Earth uh, in different languages. Like, hello from the children of Earth. And then it's like, it would be like Chinese, like, what, however you'd say that in Chinese. Right. Spanish and so on. There may be a song or two on there. Yeah, Bruno was li awesome live. We saw him during his uh, 24 karat magic tour. We saw, it for our saw him for our anniversary. Sweet Dreams by Marilyn Manson. Oh, Bruno Mars and Anderson uh, pack a blast off. Okay, let's check that out. Too. I believe the door open. I leave the door open. Ah. Wow, it was so close. Your favorite shooter was Unreal Tournament 2 because the some play with you. Right on.
I imagine you could have like tons of terabytes of data on a spaceship automatically installed in 300 years from now. Just like it comes with every ship. Just like every song ever made, almost. Yeah, it's, just, um, it's just gonna take be Spotify's database and plug it in, you know. Yeah, you'll be able to like in the future, like 300 years, you'll be able to hold like whatever's after petabytes and just right. like a little thing like the size of a pencil lead or some shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be sold in like as a collection with like um like one of those infomercials. This is the <laughs> Songs of Earth. <laughs> the Earth collection. <laughs> and it's like got a bunch of soft rock clips from like yeah. Kenny Rogers and shit, like Lionel Richie. We're gonna listen to the smooth two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> We're going all the way back to the nineteen thirties. Yeah, same RSJ. That's the most, more important. Garcia wants to know how they improved the Halo mechanics, Jasper. Um, you remember what how the update they improved knows? the mechanics? Yeah, there was like an update that they had. I remember Steel was talking about this too. I don't remember if you knew exactly what it was. Oh, I thought he was asking like how would they improve it if they. But no, like, like they... in some of the updates they had had, they improved some of the controls. It feels a little bit more loose and. Um... Yeah, I know that the latest, this season or latest update or whatever it was, they uh, made the movement. They changed the movement speed. I don't remember what they did to it, um, but I know they changed the movement and the way it works. You can like slide for longer and shit now and stuff. Yeah. So it feels a little bit more free flowing. I don't know. Mr. Roboto by Styx. Hello by Lionel Richie. Is that spacey though? I love that song. Or that yeah, would be on the infomercial. You're just in space asking hello, is anyone out there? Hello? Like, hello? Is it me <laughs> you're looking for? Um, all right, so are we switching to Fortnite now? Yes. Okay. I'm getting a party when it floats up. <laughs> All right. Hmm. The adventures, angels, and airwaves sailing away. I wonder if there's any good Christopher Cross songs, like from back then. Sailing. Sailing. Um. I don't think that's the song on there talking about. Steel Rain. What's up, man? What up? Just yeah, uh, song cellular. It's yeah. cool if uh, show gonna pop up in there too, or yeah, we're streaming. Oh, so okay, 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 okay. But we're gonna be playing some Fortnite. Oh, some Fortnite? Yeah, we're about to switch over. Nice. Uh, let's see. I'm over here just being a oh. uh, robotic badass. That's all. Right on. Yeah, hello. Chat, what's going on? How y'all feeling? What's going on, chat? Oh, did our party get raided? Steel, you didn't like ask it. if it was okay to bring this guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 my fault, my fault, guys. Tom Sawyer by Rush. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, where is Fort? Just leave at? Shogun. Yeah. Uh, my episode was cool. Okay, cool. Did you invite him? Just make sure he knows we're streaming. Yeah. 
Valkyrie missile song. We're thinking of space songs, guys, for a Starfield playlist. The chat's helping us out here. Getting some good recommendations. We already got like 40 something songs. But it's not up to like 50 something at this point. Oh, I opened the wrong fucking launcher. Steel, did you invite Shogun? Well, basically. Oh, uh, not the, yet. I'm I had, fucking fighting. That's before all the ones the chat's recommended, babe. Like, we're probably, oh, like, okay. closer to, like, 70s right now. I don't, I don't think I have them on my list. I got them. <clears throat> hey, there it goes. Perfect. We're streaming Shogun. Cool, cool. So you know. Watch your piece of key. <laughs> oh, jeez. I gotta do all this shit to sign in. What are you guys doing? Are you... We're about to play some Fortnite. Bye. <laughs> oh, nice. party. Hey, one did you answer? He heard Fortnite. He was like, "I'm out." I can't be associated with that. Exactly. That's crazy. All right. Let's see here. Oh my God! This asshole's offline. So I gotta go scroll down. What? Uh, this man has a flamethrower. That's interesting. Flamethrower overheating a mech. Or is he playing armored mm -hmm. core? Yes, sir. Right on. Got to get it in while I can. Good old Starfield. Game's trash anyway. Wow. Starfield? Fortnite is updating yeah, for me right now, babe. Did you guys see the new leaks? Yes, no, I'm looking for no leaks. <laughs> no leaks. What do you feel about those things, Jasper? Uh, I don't on know a, how this. On a light level. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. You're just like, okay. it's uh, it's. I mean, it's more the cool technical aspect, right? Do with it, yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of stuff you can do with some of the like the wording and descriptions that they were like putting out there. You care about hearing the, about the game on a technical level now? Uh, I, no, I guess not. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Uh, this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna try launching it on Xbox and see where we're at there, because. This is gonna oh, take. There he is. It's wow. it's gotta download like, install 26 gigs for the update. Oh, I mean, you probably don't have it updated on Xbox either. But... It, it might have already had it updated on the Xbox. I, I'm not sure. Oh, have you not played the season? I, I haven't launched it yet. Yeah, okay. That's probably what it, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We're going to have a lot of interesting conversations this upcoming week. We are. <laughs> about what? Just what is there to talk about it? Yeah, yeah, I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about technical. It's gonna be a lot of discourse things. this week. It's, it's gonna be interesting things. if the leaks are correct. There's a lot of discourse this week. Well, mm -hmm. you're not there, spoiler too. type stuff, but there's stuff that's been talked about before mm -hmm. that we've gotten some clarification on. Grain of salt type stuff, but. Hmm. Jasper, you read through all the leaks, right? Uh, you talking about the ones I sent you, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> yeah, I tried to when I was a few like there was like a hundred sub screenshots. I tried to try to pick the best ones just in case it got taken down. So like, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it didn't. I went through them all, so a lot of good screenshots in there, but. All right. What he was saying was definitely going to be talked about this week for sure. Like negative stuff or what? Uh, some mm. people, some people are definitely going to find negative. Yeah, yeah. Some people yeah, they are. definitely find some negative. Hey, are you talking for about like sure. something with like the story or no? No, no. no. It's just no. all technical. Limits, technical. Limits. limiting limits. possibilities and stuff. Yeah, the uh. limits. Stuff that we. 
it's that we had conversation about before, as far as the planets go and that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. I, for me, that's kind of expected, right? Like, I don't know. No, no Tom Henderson made a tweet see, about that stuff. This revolved around yeah. that whole boundary nonsense. Well, that, they, yeah. uh, Pete Hines already talked about that on an interview. We talked. Uh, that's that's what we're talking. That's about, what though. we're talking about. Right. What he said, said it's it's not accurate. Okay. It's not accurate. That's, that's, Did you see uh, Tom Henderson's sure. tweets about that? Yeah. Well, oh, what did he say? Yeah, because David posted an article about those leaks, and then he had oh, took it, uh, taken it down because it was causing issues. Ah, uh, okay. So. I'll send you the tweets yeah. if you just want to read it. Yeah. Yeah, Tom says nothing burger. I uh, survey says boundary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a, a near planet boundary, I'm guessing. Nope. Nope. Nope, sir. Let's just say what Pete Pete what Pete said in the interview is just not true, according to Leaker. Well, I mean, this is not like really. This is already information that's out there. I mean, yeah. we, it's something we can talk about. Like, if, yeah, you know, we can talk about. Oh, it. I, was, yeah, I, mean, I was just leaving it out because I, yeah. I didn't know if anybody didn't want to yeah. hear. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, it's it's, just... it's all it's extremely technical. There's nothing to do with the story. It has nothing oh. to do with anything else. Yeah. It's literally technical. And apparently, it's only, and I'll go. I'll say this, and we can go from there. Apparently, it takes thirty minutes to reach the border of the of the uh, whatever section that you land in. And straight walk across the planet. Yeah, I was going to make a video on trying to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, yep. Real life time, 30 minutes. Right, so you can it's walk cool. in a complete circle around the planet in 30 minutes? No, 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 no. Border. No. It's an invisible wall. Yeah, pretty so much. What, what, they're, what, what, they're, what they're suggesting is, Kai, is so that the entire. This is grain of salt, but what they're suggesting is the planet itself is not procedurally generated as a whole. When you land, it's a section that is procedurally generated. You can you can fool around in that section. You can walk everywhere. You can do whatever, but you will find boundaries, and then you have to go and move to a new landing site. If you create landings next to each other, it does not connect them. So you still find boundaries. So basically, every time you land on a planet outside of the outside uh, of, of main the, landing. the main landing zones that they make yeah. on your map for you on a planet, if you land randomly anywhere else, that spot and the surrounding area is going to be procedurally generated every time that you land. There. And it's only a portion. So, but so if you go back to the same spot, will it be yep. the same as no, it was no, before? No, different. Okay. No, it'll be different. So what about base camps and stuff like that? Like you yeah, the main, the main, be there. the yeah. main stuff is gonna be there, okay. right? The main the stuff will wall. be. Yeah, I'm gonna be different so, every time you go. You go back. Okay. Yeah. And people are gonna call out because they have insinuated by the way they've spoken about it, and then Pete Hines in interviews. I thought it was gonna be like walk the guy, entire yeah. planet. Right. Well, I mean, for me, you, that's not a bit. Technically, like, you can traverse the entire no, you can. of the planet. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. On a technical level, take it level, easy, yeah, Freebear. It's yeah. accurate, but I, yeah, def you are definitely going to fucking oh, yeah. oh, throw yeah. a fit about that. Again, 30, 30 real life minutes to get to a boundary is something that you're probably not going to run into very often. Right, right. And, right? and that's in every direction, Oops. right? Like, Right. So, exactly. If I'm you're good, standing we'll in the middle... That's pretty... Again, we'll see. This guy, this guy was yeah. estimating, so we'll see. Yeah, that's that's estimate, pretty yeah. damn big. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what no. we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's a massive big. play space. So, but... For, for me, like... Uh, I don't... Like, it doesn't change the way I was ever going to play the game anyway, personally. So... I, yeah, I mean, you're gonna land in some random place, my five rocks, and leave. Well, I, and then I'm gonna, <laughs> if I want to go to a different place on the planet, I'm not gonna walk there. Like, I'm gonna fly to the other place. Like, that's not. That's what I right. told the chat the other day. It was probably how it was right. gonna work, right? Like, with how they kind of described it. Um, because like what Todd said in one of the Starfield things is what most what you're probably gonna be doing is landing and then exploring the area around your landing spot, right? And then, um. Seems like that's what the game is, but 
would it be cool it like to walk in around the entire space. planet? I guess if somebody actually wanted to do so. Well, people do that in yeah. these types of. So again, it is going to be a conversation, and like I said, Pete, in that interview, should never have said what he said. It's going to be called out. So it is a the leaker called it a creative lie. What did Todd so, say exactly in the interview? What did Pete say? Or what did Pete say? Pete was asked if you can walk the entire planet, and he said, "Go for it. Walk the entire." He goes, Go, "Walk on." Okay. So maybe he didn't know. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking because he didn't know about the space either. <laughs> but it doesn't right? you can't. You, but you can't do that as Pete Hines, right? Because in I, I, other I, que- yeah. other questions, he said, "I don't know." Right. What other questions he said, I don't know. And he, he actually made a point to say hey, people always think just because we worked on the game that we know every part of the game. And right. he's like, that's just not true. So he's like, I. I but you, you can know, still like walk the entire planet. You just have to move your ship. Yes. Yes. Okay. But, but yeah. also, seamless. The other thing but, yeah, it's not the other thing's going to be said too is because if it, again, it's just don't know one dude who's playing it, we'll, we'll see. But. If it is procedurally generated every time in those random spots that you land on, let's say you find a cool rock formation or you find a cool spot and you want to go back there again, it's not going to be there anymore. It's not going to be there. It's going to be different. Right. The, the way that you might be able to get it to be the same is if you like put a base marker like foundation possibly, there or something. Possibly if you build an outpost Maybe that one spot, yeah. sure, but you would like – that's the one. That's the thing that I, I, that I do like about No Man's Sky because it makes the places that you do set up a base at very memorable. Because it's mm-hmm. like, oh, well, I went over here. I found this tunnel over here. I did these well, things I'm over here. I'm thinking that if you set up a base, it's probably going to save that tile that it generates. Wow. So when you go back to your yep. base, that yeah. that's what I would assume. From the way the know. from the way the leak was, the way that it made it seem, that it's not going to be that way. Yeah, but did he try that though? No. No, we're gonna. Though. I mean, we're just at the end of the day. We're, find out. we're all gonna play the game and see what it is. We'll and, find out. Like, I, it's just worth a conversation on te- on technical aspects because it's it's gonna be things that are gonna be talked about. There's right? so yeah, many right. other aspects of this game too that we don't know exactly how it's mechanically gonna work with that stuff, you know. So it's like right. I, other things with space and like travel and and numerous numerous things we're gonna find out and like I feel like. Ultimately, Wasn't there some spaceship stuff too. Not I mean, yeah. what? Wasn't there some spaceship stuff too that was um they talked about? No, he didn't. He didn't talk about anything per se about the uh, flying, other okay. than his his co- the space combat felt great, and there was one section where he did run into something that was much more powerful than him and got it there. So, and he said that was mm. so it was fun. Cool feeling. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. So, um, yeah, no. It, like I said, for me, it doesn't bother me. It's something that I speculated on from the beginning that w- things were going to be tiled, that the plans were going to be tiled. So um, it doesn't bother me. It's just going to be a point of contention. So, yeah. And there's a couple other things in there, too, mechanically speaking, that are going to be talked about. Well, But uh, that was the main one because that was a big question. Like I said, if he hadn't answered that question the way he did, there might be less to it. People are going to pull that it's just because people have made montages of Todd saying things about his games that yeah, find it's it not lies yep. yeah. So they're gonna add this one. They're gonna add this one. It'll be in there. But just interesting. It's interesting. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh Danny Passion Official asked if we played Remnant 2. I tried yeah. it, I played it for yes. uh, a little while. These guys absolutely fucking loved yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. apparently we did fucking almost everything in our playthrough, so mm-hmm. I don't know how we did that, but uh, there is some other secret stuff that um, has come yeah, out. Yeah, we just too, didn't but... get the... Uh, there's some like oh, other sure. encounters and stuff that we didn't get. Right. Uh, just for CJ generated each time. Right. <laughs> is that far Q in here is Reforged Gaming? Jesus no, it's, I think it's J Gaming oh. 1986. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I guess to a DM about stuff and stuff. Or oh, another okay. image, at least. I, mean, oh, okay. I don't know if you saw this one today. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so that answers one of the questions that in everything that we read earlier today. Okay, cool. 
that's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm wondering how those are going to pop up. Yep. Yeah, I think I think the premium edition is actually 34.99 on Game Pass Canuck. And it's uh with the actually with the Game Pass discount it's 31.49. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So we'll get to play on the 31st if you're in the US. Um it'll be like 1 a.m. if you're on the uh in the UK, I believe, right? Um they have a time, time chart out they put out, I think. Or someone did. Yeah, they got a whole global map on their uh, X page. Yeah, see, this is the dumb shit that people are going to say. Oh, it's not really open world? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. How many people How many people travel the same direct, travel in the same direction for an extended amount Oh, of time? I mean, each one of those, th- a lot of open world games, if you say 30 minutes of playtime in each direction. Oh, that's bigger than Valhalla. <laughs> that's bigger than a lot of the games yeah, out there no, that are open it's, world it's at each landing spot, right? Like, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I think somebody talking about that earlier and basically said it's bigger than the entire map of Skyrim. Correct, it is. I mean, what they if they want them to have open universe, like it's like everything like loaded up and permanently consistently there. It's yeah, because poss- that was the other that's, thing that's too, not right? Loading screen. technically, right? That's so. No Man's Sky. So, yeah, and that's, that's the problem, but, is the comparison Low Man's to Sky No Man's Sky. Yeah, but then, then Starfield would have to look like No Man's Sky and, and well, be void of all the other mechanics that make it a, exactly. a, a Again, game. Again, we, we all understand, right? Right, it's right. Just, yes. We know the, the conversation, conversation is going to happen, gonna right? <laughs> so. right, right. <laughs> it's like, and it's more so what, what we're saying with that. Yeah. Yeah. Of, cause of course, it's, it's going to be things that... It, and more than likely, it's not going to bother us at all. No. No, I, I can just go play everything Minecraft. This game is trash now. I'm just yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> but people, people are going to try to use that as a negative. Right. They're going to use it as a not even try. It's going to. It's going to happen. No. Uh, anyway, who cares? We'll see what the reviewers say and everybody exactly. that's loving the game. Exactly. Right? Exactly. There's all this. Uh, there's gonna be so much noise around Starfield. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is. There already is. I mean, you already see people making right. these like. Oh, uh, don't let them fool you about Starfield, uh, all these other videos and all this stuff. Like, why shouldn't be excited about Starfield? Or, like, yeah. uh, I'm, why I'm skeptical about Starfield? Like, all these people grabbing for clicks and attention on trying to be anti-hype, right? And it's just like, just let the game come out. And if you're concerned about it, fine. Just be concerned about it. Like, it's, it's what it is, you know? Like... A lot of it is just disingenuine bullshit, though, too. Mm-hmm. Steel, what did you uh, what did you start tuning? Uh, it just allows you to pick a slot, but I I went for I upgraded my kinetic weapon damage. First. Okay. I was just uh, so whatever you're you using. I got I um, got, six I, teacher, I got the so. one eighty degree turn also. Okay. Cyber says, do we think some Xbox gamers are going to find Starfield boring? Yes, yeah, I mean, they, games are yeah. for everyone. There are plenty of people who that's going to be There's boring. There's people for, like, that that's... find Skyrim boring, right? There's people that find Fallout boring. Yeah, like so. I'm gonna tell you this: I'm gonna, anybody that finds Skyrim boring, I don't see how you don't find Witcher boring. I, I just. Well, yeah, I mean, there's people I, that find um, which are boring too. I just, like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's every... but that's what that's what I'm saying though. Like, people will say that Skyrim is boring, but Witcher isn't. You know what I mean? Like, and I've played both. But of them, they you know? they are different. Witcher is definitely more guided. Like, you're not making your own character. Sure, you can go like wherever you want to do whatever you want to for the most part at any time. I don't know. I'm 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 kind of talking out my ass about Witcher because I've only played probably about two hours of it. I played ten. But... I played it ten hours three times. <laughs> Started over. But three I'm times. the same. But, I'm the same. Steel. But yeah. But the but <laughs> a lot of mechanically and combat wise. Right. That's what the kills Witcher it for me. just does not do it for me. At least with Skyrim, you can you have the ability to really tune your own playstyle. Right. You can't really do that with The Witcher. You yeah, kind of I mean, gotta go with how Skyrim. It works. You can hold a fucking fireball in one hand and a sword in the other, and you're just like, I mean, it's just badass, dude. Like, yeah. But my point with that is like, 
of course people are going to try to find Starfield boring. They're going to go into space. They're going to be like, oh, there's nothing here. Oh, I went to this planet. Oh, it's No Man's Sky. 900 planets with no life. This is game sucks. <laughs> that, that's what it's going to be, yeah. right? Yeah. They're going to say, oh, this is the 30-hour game. Uh, I beat the main story. That's that's it. I don't need to do anything else. I mean, the, ske the, the skepticism is so hard on Starfield already that people have been complaining about the start screen. Like, I mean, it's just ridiculous, right? Yeah, like, the like scrutiny, it's, I've never heard that about any other game before it launches, right? Ever. And it just random conversation is going to happen. Like, people are going to find out what the game is when we, play, when we play it. It's just like every Bethesda game like that. Like, every, right. every one of those games always has, like, okay, well, this is what you do and can discover when you're playing. They keep a lot of that stuff close to their vest, right? Like they also market it out the ass, like and sometimes they make mistakes, right? With that. But uh this is at the end of the day, is this game gonna do a million other things that no other game has ever been able to do before? Yes. And that's what I care about. Yeah. I agree. Um Yeah. Redfall start screen is way better. <laughs> Redfall could have an amazing start screen. Uh, I don't know. Listen, I don't, I don't give a damn about the start screen. Is the music good? Because yeah. that's all people care about on the start screen. Y'all got y'all got any space music <laughs> suggestions for us? Uh, nah. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't, I don't even know what would be. <laughs> what would even be space music? Well, like, man, it could even... have a space feel, or it could have space, um, spacey lyrics, uh, or like. Rocket Man? I already got That's the first one I added. <laughs> <laughs> that's the very first one. Song. Uh, 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 Cadillac to cut my big crit. It's an album. Cadillac? Cadillacica. Catalactica. Yeah. Okay. It's got some spacey themes. The whole, I mean, clearly the name of the album is Catalactica. I don't know. Is that, uh, is that Outcast? No. Big Red. Big, big Red. Yeah. He's, He's from, nope. where are you from, Mississippi? Somewhere in the south. What's up, Talos? Dirty Bird. No what's up? Dirty Bird says Starfield in five days. Let's go. Uh, so Tom, we got Tommy right Tommy with the two dollars. It says Holiday Inn by Chingy. Is that is that, is that, is that, is that space song? Is that spacey? <laughs> is that, what does that have to do with space? Is that about a, is that about a cheap hotel? Uh, what are we doing? Uh, it's about a party at a hotel. <laughs> Me and my people and like for with your friends. Fiddle on each other and sip on some hand. One thing leading to another. Let the party begin. Any hip hop music for space? Yeah. How about we just put like some old, some old school Nelly on there? <laughs> Is it, oh, it's getting hot in your ship. It's getting, it's hot, getting hot in here. <laughs> I'm too close to the sun. <laughs> Stupid as hell. I'm so done. <laughs> Man, this down this in this download's taking fucking forever, babe. I'm halfway done. Then, uh, then I guess you gotta go with Ice Ice Baby because it's cold in space after that. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Ice Planet Baby, too cold, too cold. Yo, can we crash into a sun? I doubt that. I mean, you can't even fly to a planet. I doubt that letting you fly to a sun. Um, Game Shark have is us, five. Did you have Space Oddity, Oddity by uh, David Bowie? Yeah, that's the that's the second song yeah. I added. Okay, all right. I was hoping <laughs> they, they so, got but all I had like, to... the common stuff. They yeah, to... yeah. I got through. Like, I, I'll I'll read some of the stuff we got. Um, the Game Shark hit us with a five that says, "Have y'all seen the Rick and Morty where they turn the realism setting to max and asteroids? They just flew for hours. Uh, I haven't seen that." I wasn't a big Rick and Morty uh, guy. I didn't. I kind of was past my 
time there. Yeah, me neither. I I, I watched a few seasons of it and basically didn't watch it because. Nah, well, yeah, I you could always have the Rick and Morty song getting Swifty in here. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, uh, Fly Me to the Moon, Frank Sinatra. We, I got a list from the chat that's going that I'm gonna add a bunch of stuff yeah. that was on there. Space Man, the Killers. Um, I didn't add it. I saw it okay. and I, I just was okay. like, hey, it's not the right vibe or whatever. Um, all right, here's what I got. Rocket Man, Space Odyssey. Do you realize mm-hmm. by the Flaming Lips, which was in Guardians of the Galaxy three? It's a uh, very spacey. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um. I got Starfield Suite, which is the, uh, you know, from Inon's. Oh, God. Um, that Tom, does sound good. Tom sent me a couple of uh, suggestions on, like, spacey theme, like, music. Mm-hmm. So I added those. Uh, I've never heard of them before. I added Across the Universe from the Beatles. Yep. Uh, Comfortably Numb from Pink Floyd. Yep. Uh, Learning to Fly from Pink Floyd. Yep. Uh, Space Cowboy by Jamiroquai. Uh, Three Libra is a Perfect Circle. Um, Fireflies by Al City, which kind of has like a spacey feel to it or whatever. Virtual Insanity by Jameer Kwai. Airplanes by uh, Haley Williams and B.O.B. Uh, In the Air Tonight, Phil Collins. Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Ooh, nice. Uh, Drops of Jupiter by Train. Uh, Breathe by Pink Floyd. Uh, got Space Cowboy by NSYNC. Uh, Stellar, wow. yeah, it was, there's some fun pop ones in here too. Stellar by Incubus. Um, we got Starships by Nicki Minaj. I got the Interstellar score. Um, now there's two Britney songs, Swimming in the Stars and Man on the Moon. Um, I was gonna say Man on the Moon by REM. Well, that too, we're gonna yeah. add. Um, Eclipse by Pink Floyd. Starboy by The Weeknd, Levitating by Dua Lipa, Around the World by Daft Punk, um, Spaceship Coop by JT, Satellite by Harry Styles. We got Saturn by Stevie Wonder. I had never heard this Stevie Wonder song before, but it's fucking awesome. Um, Days Go By by Dirty Vegas. We got Tonight Tonight by Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, got Cosmos songs from the soundtrack of the Cosmos uh, thing. Uh, Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman. Uh, another song called Stars that I found uh, by Grace Potter and the Nocturnals. That's really good. Uh, Mission Log from Lightyear movie. I got uh, Mountain from Close Take Encounters of the uh, Third Kind wow. soundtrack. It's one of the themes in there. Uh, I got the Space Odyssey sound, uh, main theme. Uh, Beach House sp- uh, Space Song, which is good. And we got Shimmer by Fuel. That's the last one I added. Got tons of suggestions in the chat. Uh, Sail to the Moon bound. by Radiohead. Which one? Sail to the Moon, Radiohead. Sail to the Moon by Radiohead. Yep. Space Bound by Eminem. Okay. I don't know how really space it is, but it's called Space Bound. <laughs> it it kind of has this lo-fi cowboy kind of sound, right? Western, I guess, kind of fits. How how does Bicycle by Queen on <laughs> kind of for <laughs> Oh my god! I, I love I need this. to ride my bicycle. 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 I want to ride it now. Oh my God. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Um, that's kind I of a that like bicycle. I want to ride it where I like. I say left. I say right. Certified uh, banger. What Space was banger. it? What was the Eminem song? Space bound. Space bound. The shooting stars. I can really use Wish right now. We already, oh, I think God. we already got that. That's one. airplanes. Oh, airplanes there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got that one. We got, <laughs> I, got a, I got a Guardian <laughs> song on there. A lot of the Space Guardian songs. song by a guy who believes the world is flat. That's hilarious. A lot of the Guardian <laughs> songs are just random, like, uh, pop songs from different decades and they stuff. Are. But like, yeah. But, like, some of them are really, they like, really one well. of, the one of them I uh, added was. 
Um, <laughs> what about uh, really Jefferson good for Starship? It. Nothing's going to stop us. Okay. Is that just because the band is called Jefferson Starship? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Danny Pash official says, as long as I can find a planet from Marvel Universe, I'll be happy with Starfield. Uh, modders, oh, yeah. I was mo- do that. modders are going to be able to make entire planets. So, mm-hmm. Unless he was Put lying the, about that, too. <laughs> zero, zero UFO by Ramones on there, too. Z- Ooh, Ramones. Okay. Yeah. Is it like the number zero, or the, or is it like spelled out? The word, the word zero zero U. Mm. Zero zero UFO. Okay. Uh, anything that Timberland produced sounds like it was made by an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Timberland, yeah. That is true. Uh, my fa- one of my favorite um, albums when I was a teenager. Was a hundred percent genuine, which was a tem- oh. the Timberland produced genuine album, which is fucking amazing. I love that. I love that whole album. Yeah, genuine. Genuine's albums were freaking fire. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I don't. He probably doesn't make music anymore. But uh, uh, he I, actually I, does he's tour. He's on tour. He's, tour he's made a. He's made a few. He's made like a handful of albums in the last decade and a half, I'd say, but. Not not nearly as much as he was back on that run he had. Tim Billen retired, Bobby, he says. Did he? Hmm? And Bobby Hawk says, I believe Tim Billen retired. Oh. He's, still music making, on TikTok he's making new yeah. music with uh, yeah. Justin Timberlake and Nelly Furtado right now. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's been yeah, he's one of those. That fire. <laughs> His work really with his work with Missy Elliott was freaking phenomenal yeah. too. Yeah, big facts. Yeah. And even Justin Timberlake stuff with Timberland was good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Oh uh, yeah, future anything off future like sex love sounds could go on there. We got a spaceship coop from his 2020 album, which was uh, spaceship coop. It's, it's good. It's good. It's decent. That's my stuff. 100% Genuine was my shit. I, that was one of my most listened to fucking albums, like, ever. I, I listened to a lot of different genres, and uh, I miss that era of, like, R&B, bro. Like, there was so mm-hmm. much good shit back then. Yeah. And then it all got, like, dance techno pop shit from, like, all, a, lot of, a lot of the R&B artists. And I blame Usher and Neo for that, because they kind of all went that direction. I'm so sick of love songs. <laughs> Does it remember? Why can't I turn yeah, the radio? Yeah, that's a good song. Uh, Usher's album that had like "Burn" on it, and uh, oh, that fucking album was a baby. That was one of the best albums ever. Yeah, that was Confessions. one of the best yes. albums ever, bro. And then his next one was all like dancey techno sh- style sound shit. I but... can literally sing "Confessions" top to bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> R. Kelly uh, had, was amazing, but, but I don't know if we can are allowed to say that. R. Anymore. Kelly was amazing, but he... <laughs> turns out, turns out he also liked kidnapping girls and peeing on them. So, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, I hear R. Kelly. I just think of Iron Lords and free R. Kelly and fucking every yep. <laughs> Same. <laughs> same. It's just such same. a shame that like I believe I can fly is like ruined forever now, right? Oh, man. Well, that and then for me, what solidified it more so and why, like, I really don't want to listen to it now. Yeah. Uh, even though it is what it is, is because my mom used to tell me stories about, like, the stuff that she used to hear about R. Kelly when they were, when he was, like, really popular back in the mm-hmm. day and the stuff that he used to do. And it's just a lot of it just adds up. And it's just like, mm, you've been yeah, a nasty my... man for a while. Yeah. Yeah. My cousin, <laughs> like... my cousin was telling me some. Some stuff about seeing him around his school growing up, his high school. So, yeah, yeah, like, you know what? That yeah, guy's just nah, a dirty I'm, son I'm of a bitch, good. you know? Um, remember that guy, the song he did with the Isley brother, with Ron Isley? Oh, oh my that God. That shit was good. Uh, that yeah. was yeah. crazy good. Man. I seen that not long ago because it just oh, wow, came up randomly no. somewhere. 
Oh God! What is the name of uh, it? Trapped in the closet. The, yeah. The, no, uh, no, no, no. That's that's. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's him. By, that's him by himself. You talking about the Contagious. Isley Brothers? Was, yes. There it is. Contagious and uh, yeah, there was a second part to that. Give me what you got. Uh, Kill the price. Then there was also D'Angelo was fucking really good. D'Angelo, hey, D'Angelo did this thing. Start stargazing by Travis Scott. Okay. okay. Travis is I. Right. Um, I don't see that one. Oh, there it is. Travis Scott's all right. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, God, what is the name of that? I'm gonna have to find the name of it for you. It's Benny a Lupe Hill Fiasco game. song he literally made about going to space and getting abducted. Okay, right on. And wanting to fuck space women. Whoa. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Like everybody's free that space guy women. played too much Mass Effect. Yeah, I was just gonna say, definitely. It's also about a drug dealer too, so it's, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> what? It's like, I'm telling you, man, we hear it, it's a great, it's, it's a stupid, funny story. Uh, man is creative as hell. I don't like big empty bases. What is in here? We're at. I got five gigs left. doing five gigs on what are you burning a cd no <laughs> i'm updating fuck? updating fortnite on pc oh okay okay I, it had the new season launch and so i had to do the update, oh, yeah, bigger, bigger update what was pong's Honestly. space camp song tom ask we didn't have space camps I'm going to space camp. My name is Pong Soul, and I'm gonna be <laughs> in a rocket ship. No. Yo. Why do you have to make him sound like the fucking corniest guy? <laughs> <laughs> My name's uh, Little Pong, and that's I'm funny. gonna snipe at me. <laughs> I'm My gonna name is learn Little what Pong. It's like to have no gravity, no gravity, uh, no gravity. That's funny. Little Pong. Oh! Little Pong on the mic. Gra Gravity by John Mayer. There you go. That'll work. Gravity. Little, little song called Gravity. That was probably Ow. Pong's Space Camp song. Gravity. Uh, John Mayer my was not a is... thing when I was in Space <laughs> Camp. My name is... My name... You, went to, no, you went to Space Camp with John Mayer. John Mayer. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. the... that's when he wrote Gravity. Was His song's about you, Pong. That's when he wrote it. <laughs> he wrote it when he was like nine. Uh, it just gets worse and worse. Yeah. It's hilarious. Amazing. Yeah, the story of Gravity by Where'd John Mayer. I met this really cool guy in Space Where Camp. Where go? Oh, oh, oh! He's got teleportation. Okay. Yeah, he gets that's, a little. He gets a little buck wild. Yeah. That's 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 fun. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah it's pretty great. How do I, I always get do uh, Steppenwolf magic carpet ride? That was more uh -huh. about drugs, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, they, I think they almost. I think Star most Trek. space songs are about drugs. First contact. <laughs> What about that you old song, on uh, Dancing in the about Moonlight? Space. Dancing in the Moonlight. Everybody. Feeling warm and light. Go. Is that by King Harvest? Or Callum Scott? No, it's by Top Loader. Top Loader? There we go. That's what I wanted. You wanted a Top Loader? Whoa! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. No pause. Yo. <laughs> Born to be wild. Born to be wild. I'm on that one. That's a good one. Boom. Backstreet Boys, everybody. everybody. I was gonna say. I was gonna say, isn't Backstreet? Backstreet. They, oh, they the always one? wore stupid astronaut shit. 
Yeah, I was like, I know they had that. But wasn't larger than life like space themed in the music yes. video? Yes. That's what I was thinking. That shit was amazing. Yep. That makes me larger than life. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fucking cornball. It's actually a, a love song to their fans. That's what that song is about. Is it? Yep. Why they were asking Whack. that shit when they did it? Because <laughs> they're, because you know they're also playing on the larger than life, like. I don't know. It's just, it is what it is, okay? Yeah. <laughs> What's my internet speed? Right now, my internet speed is too damn slow on this fucking updater is what it is. I, I, it's 80% done. Here we are, okay. and we are back again. Uh, that song I was talking about, that Lupe song I was talking about earlier, is called Jump. Jump? Yeah. Am I the only one? Yeah. <laughs> you really asked if am I? <laughs> uh, anyway. What am I sexual? Oh my god! Yeah. And we were yeah. all singing that shit. We fucking were stupid. He <laughs> got that right. Oh, it's oh so terrible. Gosh. Jump by the baby featuring Gizzle. Yeah. Now I'm adding some of these songs that the chat's recommending and everything. I can't guarantee you guys that every single one's gonna stay here because I haven't done the sound test yet. I'm gonna share this playlist uh, at some point. I really wish I could play the damn music on stream. You can. You were on kick. I could if I was on kick. I, you can on Twitch if you don't monetize it. You can just like do it uh -huh. and delete it after. I see, twi I see oh, Twitch okay, streamers okay. do it all the time. Just delete their VOD. Well, I guess you could just do that here, right? You would just stream yeah, it. Yeah, but the thing with it, YouTube right? is YouTube detects that shit and shuts your shit down in the middle of your stream. Dude. Oh, okay. oh <laughs> yeah, that's right. Music by the Neptunes. They have that space sound. The Neptunes? Okay. Oh. It said, um, the Neptunes. This thing I'm reading says that Don't Stop Me Now by Queen has a lot of like verses that are filled with nods to the cosmos. Okay. Don't Stop Me Now. I love Queen, so. Don't, Don't stop believing. Stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't <laughs> stop me now. Is that why they used it? Never mind. Ugh. Just give me okay. a call. This is, this is not fair at, at all. The final fight. This is uh, the final countdown. Jesus. The final oh, countdown. Yeah. Because it says yeah. like we're you gotta find one to push it. Yeah, yeah, I know. You got your blade weapon. Oh, I got it's my a, shotgun. Oh. Got my shotgun. Is so, that by your? Is that by your? Got two of them down. Yeah. At least mm -hmm. you're picking songs. It has one word in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard. I heard it. The moon. Moon's in it. It's space. <laughs> Said the word space. Uh, we're what we're doing, Fonz. We're adding um, song space themed music to our uh, Starfield playlist. Oh, Bad Moon Rise by Credence. See star. There you go. There you go. How's that one go, Jasper? I don't remember. Jasper's not going <laughs> to sing the fucking song, okay? I just okay? wanted to see if I could get him to sing something. Don't you know that? I know. That's the second time you try to do that. Bad Mood and Rising. Okay, got it. How How did they not kill him? How? Come on, man. Come on, yeah. man. I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna force Kate to sit there and listen to every single one of these songs with me tonight <laughs> while we go to sleep. Um, there's a song called "Rocket" by Def Leppard. I don't know what that is. Def Leppard rocks. So. <clears throat> there's a song called "Counting Stars" by One Republic. That's actually a really good one, oh, there, Jasper. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> counting stars. Um, all right. A rocket by uh, Def Leppard, right? 
Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know if it's about space or what. Uh, we'll find out. I'll add it and then I'll listen to it later. We already got Wait. 53 songs right now. Did you get this David Bowie song, Life on Mars? No. This sounds too good to be true, right? (laughs) (laughs) Life on Mars. I don't know if I've even ever heard this. Me neither. I was surprised about the Saturn Stevie Wonder song. It's really good. Um, All right, so what was the other ones that we just said? I can see a sun. Oh, counting counting stars. By One Republic. What's up, Eminem? How's it going? I added an uh, Eminem song earlier. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a song called E.T. by Outkast. Yeah. Uh, Cyber Gunner says E.T. by Katy Perry featuring Kanye West. There's also one called uh, Lift Off by Kanye West, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. Called Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys. We got that one already. Yeah. Hey, all right. Fortnite is Across done. Across the Universe by the Beatles? I got that one already. Oh, okay. Are you, yeah, Jasper. What are you Googling? Stop like it. Space theme song? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> There's one called Phone Home by Little Wayne. Just Starships by Nicki Minaj. Little Wayne's an alien <laughs> in himself, so you could put anything from Little Wayne on <laughs> We are not the same. I am a Martian. <laughs> All right. We got Fortnite coming up. Um, there's a song from Redman called Superman Lava 2. Cool. It says, uh, <laughs> it has everything a sci fi lover could want sex with the Jetson women, alien prostitutes, buying drugs from Jabba the Hutt, and Star Trek references. It's a veritable nerd sweat dream. Okay, so that's what. Why, what what's it? What's it called? Uh, Superman. S O O P E R. Lava. L U V A. Two. Okay, why? So was there was an original. Is this a sequel? I, I don't know. <laughs> You could do Cats in the Cradle because it mentions Man on the Moon in it for like one time. Uh, why is my... <laughs> wow. Why is my uh, controller... Oh, I know why my controller's not working on here. forgot I had it hooked up to the Xbox when I launched that. I gotta plug it up. Dang, they don't even pull up on Apple Music. What? That? To the Spotify. All right, here we go. Cool Keith, it's all about, all about space. He's awesome. Okay, Cool Keith. We already got the um, already got that one. Jahid. <laughs> Tom says we're, we're going on a trip in our favorite. And our favorite rocket ship, ship. going to the, the sky. sky. Little Einstein's. Goddamn right. <laughs> you gotta add it. I, I probably will add that shit just for oh, the, the humor effect. <laughs> That song is fire, bro. It's one of the most memorable kid themed songs ever. I mean, I would argue probably SpongeBob is up there, but. No, I didn't say it wasn't. I said one of. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. <laughs> Where are you? I'm on Xbox. Oh, shit. Oh, I am shit. On, you, uh, didn't even, you didn't even put the Jetson theme song on there. Oh, Jack! Oh, the, the Jetsons, song. yes. Are you uh, coming, Jasper? I thought I'd join, but there we go. Craft. Let's go. 
Jetsons would be great. Hmm. Space Why Monkey they? by Patty Smith. Oh, oh shit! I gotta turn off the licensed music. Oh my god. Oh Hold shit! On. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. I, I stopped. Well, oh, I, I gotta do it in the settings. No, you're doing it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm freaking out right now. And I'm hitting different buttons and I'm not meaning to. <laughs> All right, here we sorry. go. It's all right. Uh, I mean, you could always add like the TNG or the Voyager or the Deep Space Nine team because it's like Star Trek stuff. But <laughs> where's streamer mode? License audio. Okay, apply. Okay, you're good. You're safe to do it now, babe. I am here. The day and night music video by Kid Cudi is very space like. Day and night, yep. Mm hmm. He, uh, he's also got a song, I Be That Man on the Moon. That Man on the Moon. We added That's a, a Kid song. Cudi song, I think. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know which one we added. Hey, hey. Are you able to you beat them uh, invisible dudes yet, Pump? Yep, I just finished them. Nice. How many tries? Outer space by a band uh, called Oh, one, Old. because I got there with only one okay. health kit. Oh, okay. So, I got there with one health kit, and it wasn't enough, so I had to just restart once. You're over there rocking, though, man. Major Tom. Did anyone Google to see if someone's already made a space playlist on Spotify? There is. More than likely. This is... We're this gonna, is... We're gonna be better. Ours, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you can just, like, steal all theirs first and then add to it. Where's the pride in that? <laughs> it's it's about saving about three hours of fucking I read, right I, now. We've been working on this for hours. <laughs> I saw some, and a lot of them don't really aren't aren't like have a lot of space songs in it. They're just like random songs. Like it's got to have lyrics about space, or have an ultra space feeling, <laughs> or it's got to be like from from a space like theme thing. Or it just has to say some stuff. It has to say the word like space or moon or galaxy Blast or off. asteroid or fly. <laughs> All right, let's go. I already got that, Talos. I already got several Pink Floyd songs in there. Let's go he here. Wait, who jumped? That was uh, your daughter. Haley. Okay. Bad Moon Rising. We got that one, Cyber. Jasper mentioned that. Watch him surprised because he knows nothing about music. <laughs> <laughs> I used to listen to CCR. And then I well, are, are you the one that didn't didn't know who Beyonce was, Jasper? 